All right, all right. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another episode. My name is Sam Sobey. Um, it's gorgeous today. It's 50 degrees, like no wind. Past three days, it's been raining. Um, and I've just been kind of like thinking to myself, uh, this kind of adds to my last video, what I can add to the truck, different camping gear I can get. I'm kind of getting stocked up and ready for when it is like actually nice summer here in Minnesota. Um, the trips I can do, kind of the camping I can do, kind of the living off grid I can do, mixed between my Ford Explorer and my boat. So, kind of a new toy that I've got here that I'm excited to share with you guys. This will be more for like throwing inside the truck or putting inside the boat and then camping on an island type stuff is uh, this brand new Quick Set Escape Sky Camper. It's like a screen shelter, screen tent thing. Um, either way, I've never really seen one of these, so I'm excited to kind of open it up, give it a full review, and um, yeah, just show it to you guys. So, without further ado, Maybe let's pop the sucker open, give a full review of it, and then, um, yeah, maybe cook some breakfast. I don't know. Either way, stick with me, stay tuned. You won't be pissed. Alrighty, I started to dig into it there, but... Uh, oh, God. First and foremost, I'll kind of show you the outside package. The Quick Set Escape Sky Camper. Looks pretty sick. It's kind of like a hybrid between kind of like a screened in porch, a tent, and like a hub ice house. And the main reason why this stuck out to me so much and why like, I really liked it is um, 60 second setup. 60 second setup, come on. Also it's 94 square feet, 90 inch center height. Like this is, this is pretty big, but 60 second setup. If you guys are anything like me, um, setting up a tent is just a process every single time. And uh, I'm not extremely organized, so it seems like when I go to set up my old tent or if I go on a camping trip or hang out with buddies, I'll be like, oh, I'll bring the tent. And uh, half the poles are missing. Uh, the tarps are usually missing. It's just, I've got stuff everywhere. And at the end of the day, I am horrible at setting up a tent. So this to me just kind of looks like an ice hub type deal, which I'm awesome at setting up. I do it all the time. They're super easy. Like my grandmother could set up an ice hub shack. So um, yeah, I'm excited to pop this sucker open and see if it's kind of like an ice house screen tent, tent hybrid thing that I will love forever. Okay, let's open it up. Surprisingly enough, I thought this was gonna be really heavy. Uh, the square footage on this thing is huge. So I just kind of had it in my head, this sucker would weigh like 100 pounds, but it really doesn't. It's just, I don't really know what it weighs, but it's, it's pretty light. And considering how big it is, it's actually pretty short too. Like it compacts down pretty good. This is just like a hub house. We've got what looks to be potentially like the tarp or maybe the floor. And then this looks like kind of the, the whole shebang. Right here. Okay. Okay. Now, now see this, this is right up my alley. No unnecessary poles, no crazy parts, no assembly, like one pole takes 90 assemblies and then you break it. No, this, this is gonna be right up my alley. But the question is, is it gonna fit in my garage? Hmm. All right. Here's the manual, which looks extremely thin. Um, congratulations on your new quick set. Look at this guy right here. See this guy? If this guy can do it, I can do it. So directions, don't need them. I feel like it's just like an ice house. And the cool thing about YouTube uh, is A, it's not TV, B, it's not an infomercial, and C, this channel is not even close to any of those things. So if this thing is bull, I'm gonna call it bull. Uh, I'm gonna give it 60 seconds if I can set it up. Uh, it was so beautifully placed on the package, set up in 60 second time. So I'm gonna time myself and um, see. Going into this blind, I read zero directions, but that's just kind of me in general. Starting in three, two, one. All right, a minute, 15 seconds. 
That's pretty close to a minute. I think I can definitely do it under a minute. It's just, I had no idea this thing was this big. I was a little restricted in my garage. I don't know if you can kind of see this at all. Look at how freaking giant this thing is. This is a two-stall car garage. This thing is huge. This thing is absolutely huge. I'll step back a little bit. All right, well, bingo. So kind of like how I don't read directions, I kind of didn't really read the square footage of this thing and this thing is freaking giant, which is awesome. Alrighty, so whether you guys got a good glimpse or not and kind of that whole hustle and bustle of what I did there is, it's basically just like an ice shack, which is genius because hub houses would make the best tents. Basically, you just pop everything up. So like, here's the roof, you just pop it up, done. No poles, poles are already in. And literally the same thing goes for the sides. Pop the side in, pop it out. Screen tent, set up. One thing that really fires me up about this is if I wanna sleep in this, I could put Murray, Brock, I could put 50 Murrays in here, like five Brocks, five of me, and a bunch of gear in here. So if I'm six foot and standing straight up, and this camera's another foot, how tall is this thing? Like I could, I could easily line, I could easily line a cot here, cot here, cot here, gear here, blow up freaking mattress here. Um, it's, it definitely has a lot of room. So I wanna say majority of humans probably use this as like a screen and porch, like a portable screen and porch or take to a campground or something like that. But it does have like a rain top to it. So I don't know why people wouldn't use this as a tent. That's kind of gonna be what I'm gonna use it for. Okie dokie. So literally the two remaining items are a bag of steaks. And in this bag right here, I want to say, I'm not sure. It's probably obviously the rain top, but I want to say it's a floor. So without totally making a mess of everything, I think this is the top, like the rain top. That's what it looks like from the picture. This, I want to say, oh. Okay, so this brown thing here goes around the whole outside. I'm looking at the picture now on the box, but this thing wraps around the whole outside so you can really make it a tent, so you have privacy. Like, if you're in a campground using this and you wanna change, it's not just screen. All right, and then this here, yes! Okay, I need to try this. The key features of having a floor. A, you have a floor. B, you're not in the dirt. C, there's not bugs and everything getting in your luggage or crawling up your suitcases or crawling up your cots, anything like that. Having a floor is gonna be pretty nice. Um, could I probably make it without a floor in there? Absolutely, but if it comes with a floor, I'm gonna use a floor. Uh, I don't really know why I put the floor in, in my garage, but I just kind of wanted to see what it looks like. And um, obviously, if I'm gonna use this for tent camping, it's good it comes with a floor. Um, I wanna get my stuff off the ground, especially if it rains too, and if I'm kinda on a hill and that rain's coming through, I don't want all my gear to get soaked. And uh, if it only takes two more minutes to put in the floor, I'm gonna put it in the floor. We're gonna have a hoot in this thing. If we don't burn it down, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Alrighty, and just so we're clear, this um, this tent by no way, shape, or form replaces the project I'm doing my Ford Explorer. Uh, I still wanna trick that out, still wanna make it a better living space there, but you guys have seen my Ford Explorer. That's like, that's just for me. That's like bare minimal gear, just one place for me to sleep. Um, that's not for me and my buddies and my friends. And also like, the truck camping situation, that's cool, but that can only go as far as my truck goes. So this thing I can toss in the boat, I can camp on an island with it, I can get real remote, go in the backwoods. Um, is it extremely small that I could put it in my backpack? Absolutely not, but for what I'm gonna do, I'm probably gonna put it in the boat and um, just kind of camp that way. In that situation, this is gonna work awesome. But uh, I kind of want to transition now, go back to my Ford Explorer, show you guys it, talk about kind of what I learned last video and then I need a little bit more suggestions before I move forward. I got tons of comments on YouTube, tons of DMs on Instagram and seriously, thank you guys so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, the options and the creativity out there for making a living space that much better out of even something as small as a Ford Explorer is incredible. Uh, there's some super creative people out there, super awesome builders and if I can take just kind of some of those ideas uh, I think I'm gonna make this living situation so much better. So let's walk to the Ford Explorer, talk to you about it really quick. Um, and then yeah, I'll wrap up the video. Here is my Ford Explorer, which you guys have maybe seen, maybe haven't seen. Either way, I wanna kinda convert this into a decent living area. 
Um, after truck camping in it that one night, I actually went out another night. I don't know if I'm going to make a video out of it, but um, I just kind of wanted to go out again, get another feel for it. And I really like this shelf. The shelf I put in, I like the height of it, so I'll probably make that better, make it a little bit more sturdy. But the cooking situation is still something I need to figure out. So like last video you guys saw, um, I like I had this pretty well dialed, but I had like no decent place to cook. So uh, a couple people online told me about building something that kind of pulls out here. Well, that's kind of bright. Something that pulls out here and kind of slides back in basically to kind of work as a table here so i don't want to be cooking inside the ford explorer but i don't want something that's extremely huge other than that a lot of suggestions about different shelving options in here and then even like putting something to my hitch the only problem with that is i'm going to be pulling the boat most of the time so uh, i don't really want to do anything with my hitch a lot of people suggested a roof rack up here which is a really good idea so i need to look into that uh, i kind of want to carry my kayak up here too so Either way, there's a bunch more things I can do inside the Ford Explorer. And uh, I've just been kind of thinking about them during this time of quarantine. So first and foremost, something that pulls out here. And then also I'd like to make something that flips out there for kind of like a table so I can edit on. So like when I'm sitting back like that, I can just be kind of sitting there, flip it around, do some editing, flip it back around, go to sleep. So yeah, before I jump into another giant project with um, the Ford Explorer, I just want some feedback from you guys and then um, I'll probably really dive in and do a bunch of building with it. So I appreciate it. Like I said, I appreciate all the comments, suggestions, everything. I really, really read all the comments and I take them to heart too. So thank you guys. So um, yeah, kind of a relaxed video. Uh, I was excited to show you guys this new tent. Um, just to kind of let you guys know, I have a lot of big plans for this summer. This summer is going to be crazy on YouTube. I know times are crazy right now with the whole quarantine. Everything shut down and um, traveling is just, it's not smart. But uh, hopefully after this kind of all passes, uh, this summer is going to be crazy. So comment below truck camping ideas. Comment below trip ideas. Comment below collaborations. Um, comment below anything you guys think you want to see on this channel kind of in the next couple months because I'm, I'm open to suggestions and I'm just, I'm ready to tear down the YouTube game. So either way, thank you. I appreciate you guys. I'll link this screen shelter down below if this looks appealing to any of you guys and that way you can find it. Uh, whether you want to use it as a tent, kind of a, a portable screen and porch, anything to do with camping. If you live in the Midwest like me, um, mosquitoes get crazy, crazy bad in the summertime. So anything with a screened in that you can hop into and still be outside is like, kind of a must. So for now, I'm going to go enjoy this beautiful day, hit the water, do some social distancing by myself, and um, hopefully catch a bunch of fish. So thank you guys again. I truly appreciate it. I guess there's nothing left to be said and stay tuned. And as always, let the adventure begin. See you. Move ahead. Oh my pretty babe. Something ain't right. Got to find a way to move ahead. Move ahead. Oh my pretty babe.